If you're relatively new to Microsoft Excel or Excel 2016, then this program is for you today. We're basically going to show you the layout of the initial screens so you can understand a bit about how to navigate in the program. When you first launch Excel 2016, you will see a screen that looks somewhat like this one here. On the left side in the green area, you will see a list of all the workbooks that have most recently been loaded into the Excel program, from the newest to the oldest. You will also have an option down here which says Open Other Workbooks. That will take you to your file system where you can navigate through your directories and find another Excel file that you can load. On the right side, we have a group of templates. There's a whole host that you can use, and I'll scroll down, scroll down so you can see just a sample of some of them. But we're going to start with the blank workbook because that's kind of the meat and potatoes ABC of Microsoft Excel. So I'll double click on that, and it immediately takes me to the main Excel workbook screen. I'd like to identify a few of the things that you see here. At the very top in the green area, we have a host of tabs. It starts out with a home tab. You'll spend a lot of time here. And then as I click on a tab, you notice the gray area below called the ribbon will change. All the commands and features of each tab is tied to um, that individual command set. And these are the main ones we have. I have two that are built in through another application and will not be in your system. But these are an examples of what you can see in the toolbars, the ribbon it's called, beneath the tabs. Also, you'll see that it starts out with sheet number one. You can add as many sheets as you desire by clicking on the plus key, and you can actually do math and copy information from one sheet to another. Think of it like a paper notebook, where you have something on page one, and you can go ahead and take that calculation or that number, that value, and add it to something on page two. We'll show you more about that in future lessons. Another thing you, you may note is we have uh, alphabet at the top and numbers on the left. The alphabet is the columns, and they start out with A, and this is a slider bar here where I can move. What happens when I get to Z? Well, you'll see. Now it starts with double A, A, B, A, C, A, D, and so on. When we go down the left side, we also have the option for more and more rows, and the numbers here just increase as we move down. We'll go back to the left side of our display now, and I'll click over here. And I'll also show you something else about how these cells are viewed. Wherever your cursor is, is called the active cell. And the location of the active cell will always appear in this box here called the name box. The cells are always identified by the column letter first and then the row number. As you notice, with this is the active cell, it says I'm in I7. If I click over here, I'm now in C2. The contents of the cell appear also in this area called the formula bar. So if I put in a, a word, Fred, press enter, I go back and click on the cell and I see the word Fred here. I can edit it up here. I can also edit it down in the cell. And for long, complicated things, it's usually better to edit up here in the formula bar. I can also put a number in. I can type in 15. And if I click back on the cell in the formula bar, I see the value of 15. Or I can type in something slightly different. I can type in plus 4 plus 6. And when I press Enter, I see the value in cell C7. But in cell C7 in the formula bar, I see the actual formula, which is equal to the value 4 plus the value 6. I'll show you how that's very important coming up. Another thing that you can do when you look at a screen like this is you can show it in several different ways. 
We can show it on the normal view. We can show it on the page layout view, which shows me this here. We can also show it on the page break view, which says, well, I only have one page here. We'll click back to normal view. Another option you have is you can control the, the appearance of the cells in terms of size. Now this only affects the screen, it does not affect the printing. We have a slider bar here, and as I drag the slider to the right, the cells get larger. And just for sake of ease and viewing the lessons in many of the cells that you see in our lessons, we will magnify this a little bit so you can see what's going on more clearly, no matter what kind of display you may have. Again, this does not impact the way in which the sheet will be printed. It only impacts the way in which it looks on the screen during your time of editing and changing it. So that's a basic look at the layout of the screen. On the left side of the tab, you have a file tab, which is different than the others. It gives you an option of creating a new one, of saving, saving something as, printing a file, exporting a file, closing a file. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle. If you enjoy our tutorials and find them helpful, please like us, and we invite you also to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive updates as they become available. Thank you so much.